All right, y'all, we're gonna learn how to properly import your music into Serato DJ Lite. I've been still getting this question a million times. I have done a, a fully dedicated video to Orange Files. I'm gonna leave it, I think it goes right here right here click that and then you will get linked to the orange file video it's going to go a lot more in depth but i hear a lot of people are downloading music say like to their desktop they're bringing it all there and then they're bringing it in, into serato and then one day they decide to clean up their computer move stuff around move the track wherever they put it maybe sort it delete it like some people have said they deleted it which is very bad because once you delete it it's gone even though it's in serato you have deleted the file, right? Once you put stuff into Serato, you import the music. That's really just like a short shortcut. Like if you made a shortcut to like a computer program and then you took the shortcut and you put it on your desktop and then you went and uninstalled the program, what do you think that shortcut's gonna do? It's not, it's not gonna do anything, right? It's not linking to anything. Once you've broken that file path, it's all over for you. So I'm gonna be showing you guys how to properly import your music um, from if you use like record pools or wherever you're getting your music from even streaming sites kind of work the same way we're going to go over how to properly import your music um, import your mp3s bring it into serato and hopefully they stay there forever so let's jump over to serato we're going to do this on dj light i've had some questions about dj light we're going to hop into serato right now and get this thing going it's a bright day today one of our last ones left in canada so <laughs> bear with me here all right boom so here we are in serato light um and this is actually a great time for me to do this video because i just downloaded all of my music uh you guys can take a look at my desktop it's just like filled with music right now and i'm right at this moment I'm working on cleaning everything up and then putting it where it needs to be because right now it's littered all over my computer in files folders stuff is everywhere so usually what my process is is I'm going to download all of my music to a folder right here called new it's right here new music which is my shortcut to this folder right here and this folder is in the f drive so you come over here uh storage and then the folder is right here. Even though I got a shortcut to it right down here, that doesn't matter. Like if I move this folder somewhere, that shortcut ain't gonna do nothing. And that is exactly what I'm talking about in this video. So I got all my music here. I downloaded it all to this folder. Um, usually there's 500 tracks in here, but because I just sorted it onto my hard drive, my, my Serato drive, is all kind of now gone um, and now what I'm doing is cleaning up all these folders that I kind of put stuff I got like my loops here acapella loops stuff that I downloaded like sound effects I got sound effects that came in um, and music so I moved all the music where it's supposed to be on my hard drive my Serato hard drive boom the new Faya, like this is my USB hard drive that I show up to gigs with, uh, and this is where that music goes and then from here this should be the only place the only place that you're putting music into Serato from. So as you see, this folder right here is called new. Let's go back to Serato DJ. Uh, and right now, a problem is I, pro I should probably take out the hard drive now just to get rid of all of these file folders, which I'm gonna do just to make this a little more simpler. Um, these are my hard drive. Anything under this folder that says new, this is what's on my hard drive. And when you plug in the hard drive, it has all of your crate backups, all of your crates, that's where this stuff is. So this is like my real deal crates. I don't want to be seeing that right now. Uh, just for this, for this video, it'll be easier to remove that. All right, boom. So I've removed my hard drive. Everything's kind of gone. All my crates are gone. And the only thing that I have here are just like random crates. Like that's a set I'm working on. Uh, some new hits right here. Just stuff that I'm working on. Some of those loops that I was talking about. Uh, but what is right here is my new folder, right? So this is what I just spent all my days sorting all this music. There are some like real tracks in here, right? Because those are the originals that are still in here, right? There's 48 tracks. There was over 500 tracks, right? But I've gone through, sorted everything, moved it where it's supposed to be. And now I got all these broken files. So what we're gonna look at right here is we're gonna hit this location. Oh, it's right here. We already have it. So you guys can, if you won't have it already enabled, you can unenable it, come back here, enable location. Now it's at the end here, which is a little bit better. And you'll see that all of these files were in F slash new. 
but now I've gone ahead and I've, I've removed those files. I've deleted them, I've moved them wherever they're supposed to go. So now we've got orange files because there, there, there's nothing pointing to that file. That actual file is gone. This Rihanna man down is still here because that file is right here. So it's still there. The, uh, the intro edit, gone. I deleted it because I'm not gonna save intro edits on my computer, but I'm gonna save the actual song. So the song is here, intro edits gone, all these loops that I were talking about gone, everything has been moved, everything has been deleted. Other than obviously like the song, the the one original song because now I'm going to move this to my, my Tesla, put it on my, my computer, wherever I'm putting it, um, that's where I'm going to put it. I'm not going to keep the intro edits, but obviously I'm going to keep the songs. Um, so yeah, those are all here. Uh, I think that one was JID, so that was right here, Animals Part 1. So right here, we're good. Hopefully we understand this. If you don't understand up till this part, drop a comment, like timestamp it. Let me know kind of where you're getting confused. All right, so now what you got to figure out is like, where does that music go? So like, where are you putting your music once, like say you brought it into your desktop, where are you putting it from there? So for me, it all goes on my hard drive. I pulled the hard drive up off. This could be a good moment to bring it back, uh, but that doesn't really matter. All you got to figure out is like, where does that music go? So like from here, where am I going to put this music? I'm going to put it on my actual archived hard drive with all my MP3s, which unfortunately isn't installed right now as I just got a new computer and I didn't have enough hard drive space. Um, so where it goes from here is it just goes to here it goes to from my tesla it's going to go to this folder here but uh it's going to go to my tesla because that's where um because that's the next step in my process i'm going to move all of that music over here to my tesla and from there i put that on my usb in my tesla just so i have music there uh and then from my tesla it goes to this folder, which is, it goes from my Tesla to my MP3 drive. So right now I got 300 tracks in here. Eventually this is going to go in my 2025 on my MP3 drive once I get a new network storage system. So once I get that, everything will back, be back to normal. But pretty well right now, this is the final resting place of all my music. Like this is where my music goes to. So for you, that means like, where are you moving your music to. If it was on your desktop, now where have you moved it to? Hopefully to wherever it's sorted and wherever it's going to live forever. At that point, this is now when you're going to bring the music into Serato. You don't want to bring it in to, to like a temporary file area because what, as soon as you move that, it's going to be broken and gone. But for me, like this right now is my final resting period for all of this music. Uh, that's going to be here. On my desktop. And then it's this folder here from the Tesla to here. So at this moment, this is the final resting place of my music. And as you see here, on the location tab, it says that from the Tesla to the MP3 drive. So this right now is the final resting place of my music. What does that mean for you? Like wherever you are finally content with your music, like for me, it's on this hard drive. So that when I put this hard drive in, it's got all my intro edit. It's, it's got all of my stuff already sorted. Like it's sorted in hip hop, hip hop 1990, hip hop 1995. Let's just plug it in right now, just so you guys can kind of see how I sort my music. And you'll see it just literally pop up. All my crates are gonna pop up right here, right now. And boom, that's it. So here are all my crates, like my hip hop 1990. So what would you do from here? You'd go to your hard drive or wherever it is, wherever you put your music. For me, it's here, the new Faya. Uh, you come here, Serato. Uh, we're gonna go all killer, no filler, cause I just updated this one, you'll see. All killer, no filler, uh, dance hall, we're in hip hop. So I'm gonna pop open hip hop. I could have done dance hall, whatever, doesn't matter. Uh, let's do hip hop 2000, 
24 hits because I know I just added a bunch of music there. So we're going to come here. This is the final resting place of this music. Well, one day I'm going to move like I delete all the old bad music and then I just move it into this 2020 folder because I just want like the hits of the hits. After it's like gone old and soggy, we don't want to hear that no more. So I will just delete the file. So this isn't actually the forever resting place point it would be here in 2020 but because i know i've just updated this let's go over here 2024 hits added it in brought all my music and in here you're never gonna have an orange file because everything that's here is supposed to be here but with the other folder all those songs that were deleted or moved or like whatever whatever you did to it even if you just went over here to the new folder and I changed one letter on this MP3 drive. Let, let's actually just do that. So it's all here. Everything's good. No orange files at all. Nothing. Let's come down here. Let's uh, have to unpull that. Let's just change one letter here. MP3 drives. Let's see what magically happens. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. It's weird, I don't know why I moved it there, but uh, let me come back here. Let me hit that, boom, boom. All these orange files, magic, like magic. Whoa, whoa, what in the world? What in the world is going on? So hopefully you guys learned something from this video. If you guys have questions, please just drop it in the comments. I will try and answer them. But if you learned anything from this video, please like, subscribe. And if you guys have any ideas for videos or stuff that you can't really understand, just drop it in a comment and I will get around to it. I will see you guys later. Like, subscribe. Let's go.